Today we're driving the all new 2025 Toyota Camry for the first time. This is an SE all wheel drive. Pricing on this with options is about $35,000. Starts at a little over 32 grand. Uh, this is a pretty nice package. This new Camry has been refined with the fifth generation of the Toyota hybrid system for the 25 model a year. We've got new front bumper, rear bumper, some other uh, bits on the exterior. Side profile is kind of about the same. The interior is very different. Let's walk you guys around this. We'll talk about what it's like inside and out, and we'll take it for a drive and give you guys some driving impressions. We'll keep the walk around pretty short because we've already walked around the Camry once in studio. And it's a Toyota Camry. It's about what you'd expect it to be. The Toyota Camry is now only available as a hybrid, gone as the V6. Uh, personally, I'm not too mad about that. I've always thought that the hybrid Camry was the best version. This SE all-wheel drive is painted in supersonic red with black 18-inch wheels on 235 45R18 tires. These are Continental Pro Contacts. A little bit of road noise, a little bit louder. Lots of trunk space, tons of room in the back of this Camry, as always. It looks pretty much like the previous generation. This even has a compact spare tire. Love to see that. Rear seats fold. No grab handle here or anything. You gotta put your fingers on the paint, unfortunately. Some interesting new styling with the Camry. Kinda looks like the old Accord. It's got crab claw taillights. They're just going back and forth. Honda and Toyota. <laughs> Front end, a little bit Crown and Prius-like. Bit of inspiration there from that design language. Let's pop the hood, take a look at this 2.5 liter four cylinder. The all-wheel drive Camry has three electric motors, two in the front, one in the rear. Weighs about 3,500 pounds and is rated for 50 miles to the gallon. 232 horsepower for the all-wheel drive, 225 horsepower for the front-wheel drive. Back seat room, about the same as it used to be. We'll hop in behind the passenger seat. Just give you guys a quick taste. Good headroom, decent legroom, and I love this updated refreshed interior. This looks really, really nice. Lots of physical controls and buttons. The different trims are differentiated now by door panels and dashboard materials. Everything else on the inside is about the same. And you can see the side profile here is about the same as we had in the previous generation Camry. Just a reverse camera in this SE. Moonroof. Let's take a look at the interior here with a little bit more detail. So we've got a fully digital gauge cluster Three drive modes, eco, normal, and sport. Parking brake right down there. The ergonomics of this interior are just fantastic. We've got physical buttons here for climate control, wireless charging at the front, a traditional shifter, nothing funky, nothing strange. So easy to use, so easy to live with. Tons of storage right down here for water bottles, cup holders, other paraphernalia. Button there to adjust our gauge cluster brightness, pop the trunk, traction control, auto high beams. And I do like this new steering wheel design. It has taken me some time to get used to the new cruise control buttons and switch gear. Gone is the old stock, unfortunately. But now that I'm used to using it in a lot of new Toyota models, they're okay, it works just fine. We get paddle shifters behind the wheel. All right, let's go drive some fun back roads in this. Before we do, however, let's talk about our sponsor today, Lewis Jewelers. We are wearing the new reissued uh, Seiko Navigator Timer. Very cool to have this on the wrist in today's video. This is about $1,500 from Seiko, one of their uh, nicer watches on sale. Just was released later last year, and it is a beautiful, beautiful watch. This has a GMT function. That's what that little red hand is. That'll show you an alternate time zone. 
So you can use this rotating 24 hour bezel to kind of set whatever you want. If you wanna see 24 hour military time or if you wanna see uh, standard time depending on the time of day, uh, you can use that and rotate it accordingly. Very useful watch. Lewis Jewelers is my go-to store for many great watch brands like Seiko, Grand Seiko, Omega, Tag Heuer, Breitling, and Tudor. Be sure to mention the Topher, talk to DK, and he'll hook you guys up with a great buying experience if you're looking to get into a new luxury watch. All right, with that, let's go for a drive and see how this Camry is on the road. So the first thing I notice getting into this new Camry is there are just subtle changes here versus the previous generation. The biggest thing is just how smooth this drivetrain is. We don't have a ton more battery capacity or electric motor power. It still mostly drives the same as other generations of Toyota hybrid products, but it's just so solid and refined and smooth. The power delivery is great. 232 horsepower in this all-wheel drive car feels pretty healthy. Toyota really does a good job with their hybrid powertrains. Only complaint with this SE on these Continental tires is there's a little bit more road noise than I would like. Brake pedal feel is very natural. Gets up to speed very easily. I like the simple gauge cluster. We've got a bunch of different views in here. We can see our all wheel drive power distribution, tire pressures, our energy monitor, distance, fuel economy, music, adaptive cruise control. I don't have a back-to-back -back comparison, but it also seems like this 2.5 liter is a little bit quieter than the previous generation. Not as grainy or noisy. This feels more Toyota Crown, more luxurious, more comfortable than the previous generation of Camry, road noise aside. And I love what they've done with this interior. It's just so usable and functional. Let's test out our adaptive cruise control here and lane tracing assist. Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, standard on all of Toyota Camrys. Lane tracing assist will just give us a little bit of steering help around some of these corners. It does get thrown off occasionally, but you can easily turn it off with a press of a button right there. We've got some good driving roads coming up where we can really hustle this Camry and show you what the chassis is capable of. Toyota has slightly tweaked spring rates, suspension settings, dampers in this new Camry. Honestly, it feels about the same as it used to. Good ride quality in this SE all-wheel drive. nice light and direct steering getting a little bit of road feedback too through these 18 inch continental tires as just a car to get you from a to b and do it efficiently reliably comfortably this and the honda accord just do it the best i don't know if you'll actually be achieving 50 miles to the gallon in the real world with something like this, but it's probably close. The front wheel drive only Camry is a good option if you don't live in the snow belt. A little bit more efficient. And honestly, 225 horsepower for the front wheel drive model, that's no slouch really smooth power delivery here lots of torque let's go into sport mode and see how responsive this gets i like how the gauge cluster doesn't really change in sport mode there's no gimmicks here it's just very straightforward yeah 
That feels nice. Toyota has really refined some of its newer hybrid cars. The new Prius, I think, is maybe one of their best driving hybrid products ever made. I think it even drives better. It feels more refined, higher quality, better built than even the Toyota Crown. And this Camry is not far off. It really does drive well. You have to kind of get behind the wheel and feel the smoothness of these cars to really appreciate them. Besides an EV, I think something like this new Camry Hybrid offers one of the smoothest driving experiences on sale. All right, traffic is going to Mexico here. We're gonna stay left. Let's see what this thing can do on a back road. We are in sport mode. We can use our paddle shifters to keep our revs up between corners. Get my water bottle rattling around there in the back. It is an athletic sedan. Not a ton of bite from the braking system, but really good turn in. Very neutral mid corner. And it's decently quick. This feels a little bit more athletic than the new Accord. <laughs> it's fun. You really got to dip deep into that brake pedal to get some bite out of it. But again, pedal feel is an improvement. And also, for the record, this car only has a thousand miles on it. So those brakes might not be completely bedded in just yet. Let's head down the hill. Lots of regen here. Really explore what these front tires can do. Yeah, this can hustle on a back road. Good suspension control. Just a little bit of float over bigger bumps and undulations, but really nice body control around corners. <laughs> it stays flat. The Camry can hustle. Yeah. A little bit of safe understeer, as you would expect. I mean, there's nothing revolutionary here. This is an evolution of a product that Toyota has had out for a very long time. And they've done a very nice job keeping it relevant. And Toyota's had this long-term vision for a long time. Toyota hybrids are in really high demand right now because they just make sense. They make sense with our daily lives. They get good fuel economy, they're reliable. They're not that expensive. They work with our current infrastructure. I mean, the best thing about this is you can go out and get four or 500 miles to a tank out of one of these cars. Average 40, 50 miles to the gallon, depending on how you're driving. You don't have to plug it in. You don't have to worry about range. It's a very, very nice driving experience. And I think as a vehicle to live with on a daily basis, it would probably be one of my top picks out of everything. It's amazing, you know, you compare something like this to the Toyota RAV4. And okay, the people want the RAV4 because they want the crossover packaging. They want that extra ride height, that ground clearance, that high seating position. But something like this Camry just drives so much better. It's more fun, it's more athletic, it's more comfortable, it's less expensive. This is a really very impressive package. And uh, I think really my only complaint here, and the only surprise, is the extra road noise from these tires. And 
depending on trim. We'll have to drive some of the higher trims later on, either today or going on in the future when we get one of these cars back in Michigan. But we'll see if the double pane glass improves upon NVH. I will say closing this sunroof helps a little bit at highway speeds, but depending on the pavement that you're driving on, this is not a quiet car, especially in the back seat. In EV mode, this operates just like Toyota hybrids have in the past. I, I would like Toyota to give us just a little bit more battery capacity out of these hybrids and a little bit more EV only driving capability. But I can see that, you know, with the economy of scale and materials and everything that, you know, this is probably the best balance. There's a whole lot more that goes into making this many hybrid vehicles than, you know, necessarily what we would really like. Toyota is making some plug-in hybrid vehicles these days, albeit they are a little bit harder to get a hold of. But the thing about a plug-in hybrid, if you're going to use it as a plug-in hybrid to get that electric-only driving range, you have to plug it in every day. Whereas with this, it's hands-off. We've really enjoyed our 2021 Toyota Highlander Hybrid. It gets about 31, 32 miles to the gallon, no matter how we drive it below EPA, but that's pretty typical. I think unless if you're driving in perfect conditions between 30, 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, you're going to be hard pressed to get or beat EPA mileage in these cars. I know we're facing uphill, but let's do just a quick zero to 60 here. Hard on the brakes and just setting off. Good torque off the line. You can see all four, power go to all four wheels there and then blend into the front. All right, guys. Well, that's a first drive on the 2025 Toyota Camry. Hope you guys enjoyed that quick route in this all-wheel drive SE. Thank you so much to Lewis Jewelers for sponsoring this video. Go check them out. Again, mention the Topher and ask for DK for your next watch purchase. They will take good care of you guys. And uh, hopefully you enjoyed this Seiko Navigator timer on the wrist during this video. I love the bracelet on this watch. It is just so cool. And new Camry, pretty nice car. About what we'd expect. Um, I actually prefer this interior a lot more to the previous generation Camry. I think it's a little bit more interesting. I like the steering wheel. I love the ergonomics in here. Overall, this is going to be a really nice package. I think a lot of, a lot of people are going to enjoy their new hybrid Camrys out there. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.